Wow, doesn't the new Bethesda game look beautiful? What luscious forests, beautiful beaches, perfectly untouched ecosystems. Even this somewhat rocky moon looks majestic and it's amazing. Wait, wait, what, what is that? Ooh, what is this? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Hello my friends, and welcome to Starfield. I really like this game, because there's a million things to do, like eat a cute apple, meet a grandma in space, steal some succulents, go fishing, join the military, become an alien rancher, more succulents, build a cursed ship, become a corporate spy, become a regular spy, kill this thing. Ugh. Yuck. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. Steal a sandwich. Disrespect your parents. Novel contraband. You get my point. There's a lot to do. And a lot of ways to make those juicy, juicy credits. But today, I believe I've done it. I've used my smooth brain to figure out the greatest possible way to get filthy rich. Turn this into this. The plan was to build a multitude of factories across many systems, but I managed to find a way to make us millions with just one base. And at the end of this video, I'll show you what all the credits in Starfield can get you. There's only one problem. Starfield has not been out for very long and I am not very intelligent, which means I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's try and start here. Linnaeus 4, complete with this rock, that rock. We've got this rock over there. It also has three key things that any new base needs in Starfield. Helium, aluminium, and iron. I first had to find a location that had as many resources in the build location as possible with my handy scanner. This was an extremely quick process and did not take me many, many hours to do. I ended up with a site that had helium, aluminium, and beryllium, but no iron, sadly. Anyway, I think it's base time. <laughs> Hmm. Nice. So this database was essentially a way for me to learn the build mechanics of the game. It had some extractors that gathered resources from underground, a landing platform to land and modify my ship. It had a tower and the three circular circles up here was my house where I could put my slaves to work, research all the more advanced buildable items for future bases. And of course, egg. All this place needed was a name. Bruh. Now, for a base was great and all, but it was a little useless for our end goal. Yes, it was gathering up some resources, but we were going to need a lot, lot more. I think it's time for a mining montage. You're probably wondering how I was able to gather up all these resources so quickly. Would you be surprised if I told you that it wasn't just highly edited footage? It was just my natural speed. And I have such natural talents. Really, all thanks to one thing. To Advanced GG. Are you sick and tired of being sick and also tired? Well, Advanced GG is for you. The creation of these products is in itself simply a miracle. The top scientists from around the world, no, the universe, settled all their disputes to find the most advanced of all the GG's. GG, of course, standing for yummy drink. This shit actually doesn't taste like plastic. You'll never have a caffeine crash from these bad boys. And it's actually good for you as it's been clinically tested. And once you're all said and done with that delicious goodness, you can use the tubs to juggle, throw at your partner, daydream about them, build a tower, build a wall, build another wall to stop the droid attack on the Wookiees. The possibilities are endless. In all seriousness, Advanced UG is genuinely a fantastic product and I'm very proud to be partnered with them. If you'd like to get a tub or two for just a couple days, you can use code WHITE30 for a massive 30% off. But if you're watching this in the year 2053 and you missed the 30% off, do not fret. Just use code WHITE for 10% off. Now, what what were we doing again? Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Now that I've learned how the build mechanics work, 
and we'd gathered a decent amount of starting resources, we were going to need a ship that could haul around said resources with no trouble. Let me just quickly, whoops, um, up here. Um, <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after one quick YouTube tutorial from this guy, go check him out by the way, and a stupid amount of money spending, I've converted this piece of junk into This bad boy's got a whopping 15,000 storage and so many landing gears. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> you know what? If we are going to be starting a megacorp to mass produce resources and money at the cost of every galaxy's local environment, we were going to need a name. And I like Kingpin. So Not Kingpin Industries it is. Man. Now, first things first. Let's head to Venus, run around for a little and place down a sleeping bag. Why? Well, for a nap. As a one hour nap on Venus is actually 100 hours universal time, which is going to be extremely handy for resource production a little later. Now that's set up, let's begin with our first planet to destroy. Jemison, home to New Atlantis, whatever this watch is. Out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And the polar ice caps, which we shall be melting to make a product famously known for making people rich drugs. Our drug of choice was the AMP, which required argon, toxin, and metabolic agent. First up, let's suck up some natural gases from the world. We want the argon buried beneath the polar ice cap, and to power our extractors, a nuclear reactor that's vibrating so much that I thought it was going to take off. These argon extractors sound exactly how me and your mother sounded last night. <laughs> To store all this argon, a wall of gas storage. Now we can store away all of that gas. Argon section complete. Now for the toxin and metabolic agent. We were gonna have to grow these in some greenhouses. And I know what you're thinking, aren't plants good for the environment? Well, yes, but clearing natural forests for said farms is bad for the environment. So we are still completing our mission of melting the ice cap. Anyway, I very neatly whacked down some greenhouses. Plants need water, so I chucked down a handful of water extractors too, connected them up to another wall of liquid storage, and connected said storage to all the greenhouses. Now with just a couple more nuclear reactors, we should technically be in business. But we were not in business. In fact, we were in trouble. For some reason, the water wasn't getting to our greenhouses to water our little plants. I ran a bunch of tests to try and figure out what the problem was, but to no avail. All I could do was ponder. Wait, nope, sorry, sorry. The storage wasn't connected properly. Ne never mind, it's fixed. We were now officially in business. Operation Polar Ice Cap Melting was a go. Kingpin Industries was ready to start producing billions. I was ready to become the richest man in the galaxy. The whole purpose of this video could be fulfilled to, uh, um, wait, wait, what? This was not part of the script. This was not supposed to happen. It seems like the gods of Starfield were not happy with my industrialization. My game was corrupt. This was my first and only playthrough of Starfield, where Brewer Base, the Kingpin, and Operation Polar Ice Cap were all saved too. I tried everything under the sun to get my save back, but to no avail. Despite what it might look like, this was not a joke. And as fed up with the game as I was, I couldn't leave the video there. I had to give at least some minor payoff for your beautiful eyeball. So started a new game, cheated in all the money I would have made from all the work we'd already done. And I went and purchased what any rich man should, 